What's up guys, it's Wasabi and I'm back with another review. This video is not sponsored, these are my thoughts, personal opinions and experiences with the product. And today we have the XL2546X eSports gaming monitor from Zowie. Now here's a quick look at the packaging because that's what you pay for too. Now this has to be the biggest unboxing I've ever done on my channel, like literally. It's a great packaging from Zowie and the box has a convenient handle for carrying. Inside the box, you get the instruction manual and warranty card, a 1.8 meter DP. 1.2 cable and a 1.8 meter HDMI 2.0 cable. Of course, you have the power cable. This is also 1.8 meters in length. The monitor base on this one has built-in screws for you to attach it to the monitor stand. You get the monitor stand very long and hard. It comes included with the Zowie S switch, which is the wired controller you use to adjust the settings. In this box, you can find the left and right monitor shoe. And of course, you have the XL2546X itself. And here's a closer look at what the back looks like. It even has a quick release latch to quickly dismount the monitor off the stand. So getting it hooked up to your PC is pretty simple. Power cable goes in here. I must say this cable management hook is pretty fantastic at keeping your cables out of view from the front. S switch cable goes in here. And for me, I use a display port, so this is where the cable goes into. A nice little feature of this monitor is that there's this little arm that you can pull down to hang your headset. And for me, it's great for keeping my setup organized. So my first impression when I first plugged in this monitor to my PC was that the image quality isn't great. But then I thought that is completely off and not doing my job as a reviewer. Gotta manage my own expectations and really understand Zowie and what they do as a brand. So before we go any further, let's manage some expectations here. Just so you know, this video is not gonna go deep in the technical details. I will touch on some, but really this video is going to be more to share my experiences and how I feel about this monitor from a casual gamer's perspective. And I think many of you casual consumers and casual gamers will be able to relate to the content a lot easier which is what I enjoy doing with the content on my channel. Also, some footage in today's video won't look so great because I had to crank up my camera to 120 frames to get rid of some nasty black bars on screen. So when it comes to Zowie, they make products for a specific purpose and not necessarily following what people might consider the best or in trend. But when they do make something, they do it very well relative to its price. Zowie's only objective is to make the best products for esports gaming. This means you can forget about 4K resolution, Forget about realistic color production. The priority here is to deliver on performance and build quality and that's all that matters. Now if that's it, let's get on with it. Oh yes, keep in mind that this monitor goes for $499. This monitor has a 1920 by 1080 resolution, refresh rate of 240Hz with a PC and 120 for console. It has a TN panel which is old tech by the way. It does not give you the best image quality and isn't great for colors. But what you get is high response time which with an eSports monitor is what you would prioritize. Because this is a TN panel, to get the best out of this is if you have yourself positioned to the point where you are looking straight at the screen. Also, if you're looking from different angles, the screen doesn't look quite as clear as it should. It's not the kind of screen you would watch movies on together with your family. But I must say that this display handles screen reflections very well compared to other monitors. I've used. So this is the 24.5 inch size and I found this size to be just about the perfect size from the distance that I play. The monitor has a great amount of adjustability and I love the measurement markings for height and rotation adjustments. And of course if you want the most in adjustability, you would probably mount this on a monitor arm. This one has a VESA standard mount with a 100mm pattern. The bezels on this monitor are pretty thick, almost like a picture frame. If that's something that bothers you, you might want to look at other options on the market. The thick bezels are somewhat of a Zowie monitor design, but it's not without purpose. It helps to reduce light reflection from the screen, and I do find that it visually detaches itself from any background that you have behind the monitor, and it does help you to focus on everything within the frame. You will get this monitor for Zowie's latest display technology. It has DIEQ, so you can expect better motion clarity and a better overall visual experience for competitive gaming. And it has the fast TM panel that helps make moving objects appear clearer with sharper outlines. With this monitor, you can use Zowie's Excel settings to share software. This is such a useful feature because with this, you don't need to manually switch presets between web browsing and your favorite games. And with this software, you can even export your display settings to share with your friends. You can set the monitor up to change automatically to your Valorant preset, for example, when you launch the game. And you can set a preset for everything outside of gaming. It's just very convenient. On the S-Switch, you have a 
couple of default presets mapped to the control module on buttons 1, 2, and 3. And these are specially selected to give you the edge in gaming. So don't expect to get realistic color with these settings because they are really meant to make targets as obvious as possible. For the XLX series monitors, which are the ones with Diac 2, CS2 preset is on FPS 1, the Valorant preset is on FPS 2, and the preset for Apex is on FPS 3. You can also access the menu from the little joystick on the back of the monitor if you don't want to use the S-Switch controller on your setup. There are no built-in speakers with this monitor, but there is a 3.5mm headphone jack for you to plug in your IEMs if that is something that you do. The monitor shield that it comes with is not something I use, but it's good for preventing any light glare that comes from its sides. And I'd imagine they are very useful if, let's say, you play at a LAN party with monitors on your left and right. It helps you love your peripheral vision so you've got full focus on what's in front of you. But for most consumers, you probably don't need to put this on your monitor. Nice to have though, it's a great accessory to include with an eSports monitor. The image quality, as I mentioned earlier, is very average. You can find much better image quality and color accuracy with quite possibly cheaper monitors. But let's be honest, that's not why you would get a Zowie monitor. While this monitor doesn't score many points in image quality or color accuracy, where it shines is in the performance and clarity department. And it handles motion blur so well. Don't forget, this is a $500 eSports performance monitor with the tech developed purely to give you an edge in gaming. And really, it's not to watch Avatar in 4K HDR. I can think of a couple of friends who play Valorant and would absolutely love this monitor. And most importantly, only it's within their budget. My experience gaming on this monitor has been pretty damn great. With its 240Hz refresh rate and the excellent motion clarity with Diac 2 and the fast TN panel, targets on screen look super clear. Not beautiful, but super clear. Just a reminder, the monitor I'm coming from is an OLED ultra wide gaming monitor with 165Hz refresh rate. 165 to 240 isn't a huge jump, but it is noticeable if you have good eyes. Now on this Zowie monitor, I found myself hitting shots that I normally don't. To keep it short, since I got this monitor, I do find myself performing a lot better in both Overwatch 2 and Valorant. And I will give all the credit to how well developed this monitor is for gaming. I honestly enjoy how smooth tracking feels on this thing. And with my mice running at 2000 to 4000 hertz pulling rate, absolutely brilliant. And in some way, you feel more engaged in the game. This is my experience and what I know this since I started gaming on it, but don't get me wrong, having a monitor like this is not going to make you instantly a professional player. For casual use, it's completely fine for web browsing and writing, for example. Viewing content looks generally okay on this. However, if you do photography, graphic design, or video editing, I would very much recommend that you look at other monitors and not use an eSports monitor like this for that kind of work. My recent videos were edited on this monitor and I find it pretty uncomfortable to use to review my footage and work out the colors. I find myself always sort of guessing what works. So what I do after rendering my videos, I review them on my phone display just to be sure. But then again, this monitor is not made for that kind of work. Funny thing is, even though this is an LCD display with a TN panel, it's old tech. But the more I use it, the more I'm impressed with it. And the transition from OLED to this didn't take too long. This monitor hasn't given me any problems from the day I got it. Also, there's no coil wine or anything like that. There is no HDR, no 4K resolution, nothing amazing with colors, but it performs beautifully. I would say it's a different level of clarity that you need to experience with the games that you play to really appreciate. You know, honestly speaking, this is a tough product to review and I even considered not doing this review because the wow factor of something like this can only be experienced in person when you game on it. Take this clip for example, I've never shot this many in a row on hard difficulty in the practice range. The longest streak I've ever got was 8 to 10 in a row, if I remember correctly. And such an improvement is just what I mean by something you gotta experience for yourself in person. Now some people would say some esports professionals would not use Zowie's Diac technology for consistency across different monitors that they use or for whatever personal reason. Well, okay, but Diac 2 is new and improved technology from Zowie and I myself as a gamer who enjoys hopping between casual and competitive games would very much like to try it and so far, I am enjoying it quite a lot. I am no esports professional and I do not wish to be one. I only got up to Platinum after playing 4 weeks when I first started Valorant and because I enjoy playing Overwatch 2 and Modern Warfare, 
everywhere. It seriously throws me off every time I go back on Valorant. Anyway, like most people out there, when I decided to get this monitor, the main objective was to have refresh rate of at least 240Hz and experience the new and improved Dayak 2. A $500 experience that I'm honestly glad I tried. You know how it is, don't hate it till you try it. If getting an LCD monitor with a TN panel bothers you because it's old tech, then nothing's gonna change your mind. But if none of that matters to you and you're just looking to use and experience an eSports monitor as your main for your favorite competitive game, I feel this is a fantastic monitor for that. So in conclusion, what are some of the things I like about this monitor? Well, besides the incredible performance, which is a complete win in my books for its price, I love the level of adjustment you get from the stand it comes with. It's something that I felt was very nice because I have two different monitor positions that I swap between for work and for gaming. With my experience using a screen mounted on a monitor arm, I always find myself guessing if the monitor is straight or off angle. So I find that a stand like this is incredibly useful. The base of this monitor is pretty small and it does not take up a whole lot of space. This is great if you have most of your forearm on the mouse pad, which is what I normally do when I play Valorant. On top of that, a small base like the one this has is also great for small desks or if your desk isn't compatible with monitor arms. So what are some things I feel can be improved? There is one thing you cannot do when it comes to adjustments and that is you cannot rotate this monitor to a portrait position. So if that's something that you do on your setup, you probably have to mount it on the monitor arm. For the amount of performance and great build quality that you get for $500, it's incredibly good. And I trust Zawi to make quality products. After all, they are not a brand that pushes out new products every two months. Would this monitor replace my Alienware? Absolutely not. And that's because of the things that I do on my computer. I very much prefer using my Alienware for the work that I do and the variety of games that I play. But what I would do is use this monitor for specific games. If I am committed to playing a game to climb the ranks, for example in Valorant, I'm generally interested in building my setup for competitive gaming, which more people would these days, especially in my country, then this is a great monitor to have. Besides the excellent performance from this monitor, build quality of Zowie products are generally good. This has Zowie's latest tech and in my region it comes with a three-year warranty. So what about the Zowie XL2586? X that can do 540Hz. If you're wondering why I went with this model and not the one that can do 540Hz, well it's mainly for two reasons. The first is that my PC isn't powerful enough to get the most out of a monitor with a 540Hz refresh rate. In fact it can't reach above 300 when I play Overwatch but I can maintain a stable 240 with the competitive games that I play. And the second reason is because of budget and considering that not everyone has a powerful rig to hit above 400 frames, this model would be a more sensible and considerable option. Final thought what do I think of its value? Well, for what it's designed specifically to do, and at $500, it's absolutely fantastic. However, if you're coming from an OLED, you would be very disappointed by the colors, but you gotta remember that Zawi did not make this monitor for you to watch anime goals in 4K resolution or anything like that, but to give you advantage with the tech they develop for competitive gaming. But with this, you can watch anime goals with much better motion clarity, if that's your thing. And also another thing is that with what I do with my content on this channel, this monitor is great for when I need to test high pulling rate performance with gaming mice that I review. 4000 Hz pulling rates are much more noticeable now, but it takes some getting used to. And it made me realize how jittery my aim is during gameplay. So should you get this monitor? Well, only if you don't mind using an LCD screen and all you want to experience is good performance for your favorite competitive game. But if you already have a good gaming monitor with similar specs, you really should think it through. Do you need to get one? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to get one? Mm -hmm. I myself would get one for the experience. I mean, I already did. <laughs> but before you go on to Amazon or wherever to compare prices of different monitors, I would strongly recommend to think twice about how much time you spend on your PC and for what purpose. For what you do now and what you think you would do in the next two years. And from there, you have a better idea if this is a monitor that works out with all the things you plan to do on your setup in future. Honestly, I think this is a great monitor for anyone looking to get into competitive. Side note, if you're into competitive gaming like serious competitive gaming to go up on stage one day competing against teams in front of the whole world, I totally respect that. So yeah, these are my thoughts and experiences with the Zowie XL2546X coming from an OLED gaming monitor and it does a fantastic job at what it's made to be. I am having a great time gaming on it. If you've enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. And well, I guess I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>